Relational Databases First up are Relational Databases. These databases store data in tables where each table has rows and columns. Each row represents a record and each column represents an attribute of that record. They use SQL, Structured Query Language, to manage and query the data. Think of a relational database as a super organized dinner party where everyone is seated at a table with name tags and detailed placemats. Each placemat lists your dietary preferences, hobbies, and favorite topics. If someone wants to know who loves pizza, they just look at the favorite food column. Everything is neat, tidy, and perfectly arranged, just like the ultimate dinner party planner. NoSQL database. NoSQL databases are designed for handling large amounts of unstructured data. Unlike relational databases, they don't use tables, but can store data in various formats like documents, key value pairs, columns, or graphs. They are great for scalability and flexibility. Imagine a gigantic flea market where each vendor has their own unique way of selling goods. One stall has a giant binder of random trinkets, document store. Another has a vending machine where you put in a code and get a surprise snack, key value store. A third has a rack with items organized by type, column store. And the last one has a complex web of trade deals and barter systems, graph database, it's chaotic, but you can find almost anything. Object-Oriented Databases Object-Oriented Databases store data as objects, similar to objects in object-oriented programming. Each object contains both data and methods to manipulate that data, making it a good fit for applications where complex data structures are involved. Picture a toy workshop where each toy is a fully interactive character. Each toy comes with its own set of instructions, accessories, and special abilities. For instance, action figure. Bob has a cape, a sword, and can fly. Object-oriented databases work the same way, keeping all the details and functionalities of each object neatly packaged together. Hierarchical databases. Hierarchical databases organize data in a tree-like structure where each record has a single parent and potentially many children. This structure is good for representing data with a clear hierarchical relationship. Imagine a massive, overly complicated family reunion where everyone is seated according to their family tree. The great-grandparents are at the top table, the grandparents at the next level, and the cousins at the bottom. If you want to find out who's related to whom, you follow the branches of this family tree. It's a bit rigid, but very clear. Network Databases Network databases allow more complex relationships between data points than hierarchical databases. Data is stored in a graph structure where each node can have multiple connections, enabling more intricate data relationships. Think of a wild office networking event where everyone's business cards are connected in a dizzying web. Bob might know Alice through a work project, and Alice might know Charlie through a hobby group. It's a tangled mess of connections that's perfect for figuring out how everyone is related. New SQL databases. New SQL databases combine the consistency and structure of traditional SQL databases with the scalability features of NoSQL databases. They aim to provide high performance while maintaining the acid properties of SQL. Imagine a futuristic restaurant where you can order gourmet meals with the efficiency of a fast food drive through the chef is a Michelin-starred pro who can handle a huge number of orders quickly without compromising on quality. New SQL databases are like this, highly scalable and efficient while keeping everything orderly. In-memory databases. In-memory databases store all their data in the computer's RAM instead of on disk. This allows for incredibly fast data access and is ideal for applications requiring quick responses. Imagine you have a friend who's like a human search engine. They remember every detail about every party they've ever attended. You ask them about the best moments and they instantly recall every single one. In-memory databases are like this friend, providing lightning fast responses because everything is stored in their head. Time series databases. Time series databases are optimized for storing and analyzing data that changes over time, such as stock prices or sensor readings. They efficiently handle data points indexed by time. Picture a time-traveling historian who meticulously logs every event they witness, from the invention of the wheel to the first pizza delivery. Their diary is a detailed timeline of every significant event. Time series databases work similarly, tracking data points over time to see trends and changes. 